Hi everyone, my name is Buffy and this video is to show you how I um, took a few hornworms and turned them into a lot of hornworms. Um, for those of you that haven't done it yet, it's been a uh, it's been a great experience just learning about how they're raised and how you t are to reproduce them. Uh, this was my first attempt and I was very successful in doing it, so I hope everyone does give it a try. Um, uh, if you watch my video, you can see it. they start out in a glass tank in my room, which I kept them there for about two weeks and then I took them outside into a screened cage that I made and um, they stayed there until they hatched. Um, now outside it's been anywhere between 80 to 95 degrees during the day and about 70 degrees at night. Um, I did miss their cage pretty often for the tomato plant to grow plus giving them some moisture but it is pretty humid where I live. Um, uh, the only thing I haven't done yet was make the hornworm chow and I'm just waiting for the ingredients but I will post the recipe that I've decided to use um, for the hornworm chow. Right now they're currently eating uh, a green tomato and I'll give them some veggies until I can make their hornworm chow tomorrow hopefully when the rest of the ingredients come in. I, I will tell everyone I would suggest Amazon for the ingredients because I've looked all over the stores to find a couple of the items and I wasn't able to find. Anyway, I hope you guys decide to do this. It has been really fun and um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer anything you guys um, have questions on. Thanks! Hey guys, okay, so today is September 5th. We woke up this morning to almost all of my hawk moths have hatched, except the last two are down there. I did have two before this morning. 
looks like one, four, five, six. So about four hatched overnight. I have two more left. Um, I did try the other day to force the one to eat um, out of a bottle cap lid, but I, he was freaking out too much, so I just let him be. I did put the hummingbird feed in the bowl, and I do have sugar water in the hummingbird feeder. But overnight, you can see they've been producing eggs now. They've been busy. So you can see all the little eggs on my tomato plant that I have in here for them. So my next task is to get off all the eggs and then I have to go to the store and get all the supplies to make hornworm food. I'll post more later.